Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 2nd of August. India's Haryana remains on edge after communal clashes. CM says guilty won't be spared. Pakistan PM and Army Chief assess security following Bajor suicide bombing. And Nepal warns citizens against recruitment in foreign forces in war-torn countries. And now for all the details. Traffic was lighter than usual in India's Gurukram on Wednesday and some streets deserted as rapid action force personnel carried out flag marches to ensure calm in parts of Haryana state after two days of communal violence. The violence erupted during a religious procession in New District on Monday, resulting in death of two police personnel. The death toll has mounted to at least six, authorities said on Wednesday, adding that more than 100 people have been arrested for involvement. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar appealed to the public to maintain peace as he said that the situation is going to back to normal. He said the guilty won't be spared. <laughs> विषय आया है इसके पीछे किसका हाथ है कैसे शुरू हुआ इन सब बातों के ऊपर भी प्रोसेस चल रही है उस सारी प्रोसेस में कोई भी दोषी है उसको बख्शा नहीं जाएगा ये सारी योजना हमारी इसमें बनी मूविंग ऑन माइक्रो ब्लॉगिंग साइट एक्स फॉर्मली नोन एज ट्विटर हैज फाइल एन अपील इन इंडिया कर्नाटक हाईकोर्ट चैलेंजिंग एन अर्लियर डिसीजन फॉर नॉन कंप्लायस ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑर्डर्स the social media giant in July had sought judicial intervention to overturn government orders to remove certain content from its platform. However, the High Court quashed their petition and imposed a penalty of 5 million rupees. The microblogging side in the appeal has argued that the earlier judgment will embolden government to block more content and broaden the scope for censorship, news agency Reuters reported. X and the Indian government have been engaged in long legal battle over the content on the platform even before the takeover by Elon Musk. Indian authorities have maintained if the social media giant wants to work in India, they need to follow its rules and that the law of the land is supreme. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif and Army Chief General Asim Munir, along with JUIF Chief Maulana Fazlur Rahman on Tuesday, met the victims of the suicide bombing that killed nearly 56 people in Bajor. The attack claimed by Islamic State militant group targeted a political rally of JUIF, a hardline religious group. It has raised security concern for general election due by November. The JUIF and Lai in ruling coalition has been a strong supporter of the Afghan Taliban, who are ideological opponents of the Islamic State group. Prime Minister Sharif renounced the blast, which came after months of political tension and an economic crisis, as an attack on the democratic process. Meanwhile, Unannounced load shedding and hefty electricity bills have left residents of Pakistan's Karachi frustrated and angry. A report. Residents of Pakistan's financial capital, Karachi, are upset over several hours of load shedding that has made their lives miserable, while the authorities have raised electricity tariff yet again to meet IMF conditions. During peak hours, almost every locality witnesses power cuts and over that hefty bills have shaken their budgets amid soaring inflation. They say overbilling has become a part of the system and it seems their woes will never end. Pakistan mostly meets its energy demands through imported and indigenous resources, but a drop in commodities reserves and foreign exchange has left the government unable to meet demands. 
spokesperson for Taliban's Ministry of Natural Disaster Management, Shafiullah Rahimi, has said that at least 700 people were killed and hundreds have been injured due to natural disasters in Afghanistan over the past year. In a news briefing, Rahimi, while highlighting relief measures, said that natural calamities, including floods, have affected more than 19 provinces and four other provinces have witnessed earthquakes the previous year. In the last week of July, at least 47 people died in flash floods in 11 provinces. Afghanistan is among the most vulnerable countries against natural disasters. The war-ravaged country is grappling with economic crisis and a cut down in aid by foreign donors due to sanctions on the Taliban, which has not been recognized yet. The Nepal government on Tuesday warned its citizens not to join foreign forces in war-torn countries. The warning came after several media reports highlighted about participation of Nepalese citizens in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Nepal's foreign ministry in a statement warned about the risk involved and said the Nepal government does not have a policy to allow recruitment of its citizens in foreign armies except for friendly countries with whom it has traditional agreements. Nepalese citizens are actively engaged as Gorkha brigades in Singapore police and armies of Britain and India. However, in recent days, Nepali youth have joined foreign militaries as private citizens to avail better benefits and citizenships. And to the delight of the conservationists, the tiger population at the Dudba National Park in India has risen substantially. Authorities are making efforts that the local community and the wildcats can coexist. The number of tigers in the Dudhwa National Park and Tiger Reserve area has risen to 153 from a previous population of 107, an official has revealed, indicating that conservation efforts have paid off. The data of 2022 was revealed on the International Tiger Day this past weekend. Overall, the Uttar Pradesh state has recorded a rise of 18.49% in the total tiger population in four years. सेंसस था 2018 का था उसके विरुद्ध हमारा इस बार स्कोर 153 रहा है जो कि काफी अच्छी बढ़ोतरी है 107 से 153 पे हम लोग पहुंचे हैं तो दिस इज अ गुड पॉपुलेशन बहुत अच्छा चैलेंजिंग है क्योंकि ये स्पेल ओवर होगा और आपके फ्रिंज एरियाज में इनका मूवमेंट बढ़ेगा तो एक चैलेंज तो है ही लेकिन इसमें हमें अच्छा सा कम्युनिटी का भी सहयोग मिल रहा है इसको आगे हम इसको और स्ट्रेंथन करेंगे जो हमारे बाग मित्र हैं हमारे फुट पेट्रोल है और जो गांववासी हैं उनको हम एजुकेट करेंगे और कोशिश करेंगे कि ये एक कोएक्जिस्टेंस वाली चीज बने कि इंडियाज टाइगर कंजर्वेशन एफर्ट्स हैव मेड ट्रिमेंडस प्रोग्रेस ओवर द पास्ट 5 डेकेड्स बट चैलेंजेस लाइक पोचिंग स्टिल पोजेस अ थ्रेट द रिपोर्ट स्टेटेड कंटिन्यूड एफर्ट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट टाइगर हैबिटेट्स एंड कॉरिडोर्स आर क्रूशियल दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.